Welcome to this tutorial about math expressions. So let's just jump into it and see what we're going to be playing around with a little bit. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 4. Uh, this is very version 4.26. This will work just as fine in Unreal Engine 5 as well, because we're basically jo just going to be uh, exploring a little bit about math expressions and what they are and what they can be used for. So if we go into our third person character, the only thing that I've done here is I've created an event so we can actually have something printed when we want to. Uh, a math expression is exactly what it sounds like. It is a way for you to type in some sort of formula uh, to calculate something. And to just give you a simple example uh, to do this, we will type in math expression. And you'll see add math expression appears. So this is what it looks like normally. And this is uh, similar to how like macros work. It sort of condenses uh, a group of nodes together. So if we were to do something simple just to have something to, to explain around, let's say that we wanted to do something very simple. We wanted to add two different values together. So we could say value one plus value 2 and then we press enter and this is what we're presented with so if we hover over this node you can see we get like a little thumbnail showing what is actually going on inside of here so if we were to go into it you can see that we have a value 1 coming in a value 2 coming in it's being added and it's being returned so that is essentially what the math node does it presents you with inputs and outputs that correspond to the different values of the uh, the calculation that you've entered and how this works is if we take another one any word that you type in here like we did over here with value uh, is going to be used as an input unless one of two things exists so if we were to say have if we were to say base turn rate and then plus value 3. You can see that we only get a value 3 appearing here and the reason for that is we have base turn value or base turn rate over here already expressed as a variable which means that the node itself will bring out and get that value and use it together with other inputs it can't define to give you what the expression should be uh, calculating. So anything you don't have as a variable will appear here uh, and the, var the, valuables, the variables that you have will be uh, using a get function inside of the expression. There is another uh, exception. So if we type in math expression and we, if we were to do something like type in vector, if we type vector and we don't have a variable called vector, so we would expect this to be an input. However, if we start with a parenthesis, we can make use of uh, certain functions. Like for example, um, we can do something like this, x value, y value, and 10, like so. Uh, this will give us, since x value and y value is not a variable that we have defined, it would get used as pins. We have a, a variable or a value already defined over here and that will only be used as that value. If we go in here and see, you can see it has this using 10. And in this specific case, we used a vector, which will be creating a vector for us as an out result. Um, the default is that you'll get a float value when you're using and you get a float input and a float output when you're using a math expression unless certain uh, conditions are met like for example we told it that, that we wanted a vector over here you can also get transforms if you wanted to this can also be used for uh, boolean expressions uh, for example you can say something like uh, if we were to have these, of course, don't actually align with each other, but if we were to use these two values in a math expression, 
we can make some boolean operands on them to make comparisons. So we can say base turn rate um, equals base look up rate. Then you can see it identifies that we're making a comparison of a boolean type, which will allow us to get that boolean value out. So what is the benefit of doing these things? Well, you might have already seen that, all, depending on how you, what kind of a calculation you need done, of course, it is sort of uh, handy in a way. Because if we wanted to do this, for example, we wanted to have these and compare it just like we're doing over here, what we would have to do is we have to do an equal, and we want to compare to floats, and then we use it like so. And then after that, we would use something like a branch to compare the value, right? Now, instead of that, we would have this. So in this case, it becomes very easy to read. You, you're checking base turn rate against base turn lookup rate and then getting it over here. It's easier to read than this. It takes up less space. It's more convenient to move around rather than having three different nodes. You have one node. Also, if your comparisons are more complex uh, and larger, you might be saving a lot of space by having it in a math expression rather than like 15 different nodes, for example, right? So uh, space is one, readability is one, and it, it allows you to to actually clean up your blueprints a little bit, which is very handy because blueprints have a tendency to get, get very uh, messy, especially when you're doing some calculations like adding values and, and uh, comparing stuff and such. So that is the general uh, purpose and use of math exp expressions. So what are the different things that we can make use of? We have seen that we can make use of floats. We have seen that we can create transform or vectors. We have talked about that we can create uh, transforms in a similar way. We have also seen that we can make comparisons. And comparisons can be made in a lot of different ways. You can um, have booleans, for example, if you were to make two booleans. These are not the best names, but uh, we can do something like an AND operation. So uh, new variable underscore zero, and then two AND signs, and then we have new variable underscore one. This will make sure that both of them are supposed to be true for this value to be true, for example. So very neat little way to, to handle your uh, different Boolean types if you have many of them. Uh, so those are the basic ones and also, like we mentioned here, you also have some functions available to you. And the functions you have available to you are a bunch of different ones, but the more noteworthy ones are the vector one, there's also one for rotator, and we can also do something for sine. So. If you type in sign and then use a parenthesis, you can have a value like x. Um, and then you'll see that it uses the sign uh, node in here. Uh, other than sign, you also have clamps if, in case you want to clamp values like so. And you also have rounding if you want to round something. And uh, these, of course, have different additional parameters that you uh, can make use of. And the Unreal Engine documentation handles these if you want to look into them in uh, more depth. But uh, yeah, so generally this is how you use math expressions. And to teach good habits, uh, we will be using these uh, more often in our tutorials moving forward to since we now have gone through how they work and try to keep our code a little bit more clean moving forward and also hopefully uh, giving you the, uh, the habit of doing things in a possibly a little uh, more efficient and better way 
uh, as a result. And that's all for now, I think. I hope that made sense. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.